Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about what a SAFE agreement is and when we're looking at the financial statements from Cold Food Science where they've listed all of their SAFE investments in their portfolio companies, what does that actually mean? As we start to build our valuation model of Cold Food Science, this is really the first step and the key in understanding how to start valuing Cold Food Science as a firm and trying to figure out what their share price is. So with that, let's get into the video. If you're going to the Cold Food Science website to their investor portal and you can't find the financial statements that you need, I would just go to the Canadian Securities Exchange, the CSE.com. They have everything you need, all of the filings because legally you have to file it. So everything you need for the latest financial statements can all be found on that website. It's a lot easier than working with the Cult Food Science website. Okay, so today in this video, I'm gonna talk about simple agreements for future equity, safe agreements, because this makes up the majority of the investments that Cult Food Science has made. They're all early stage companies. There's two types of investments that you can make in a seed round. You have safe agreements and convertible notes. A convertible note is a type of debt that has the right to convert to equity or shares when you hit an agreed upon milestone. Usually it's sort of an investment vehicle that's similar to a loan, so you would have an interest rate that you would also have to pay off, and you have a time horizon that you'd have to pay that off in. Usually this converts into preferred stock upon the closing of a Series A round, although you could also exercise that in the current round of financing, it doesn't necessarily need to go to the next one. They're generally pretty complex and hard to navigate. And so the Silicon Valley Accelerator Y Combinator created a new financial instrument to simplify seed investments called SAFE or Simple Agreement for Future Equity. Here it is, it's just a number of pages it's standardized, six pages, quite easy to go through, and a lot simpler than a convertible note. At its core, a safe is a warrant to purchase stock in a future priced round. The main reason that founders will go with safe investments over convertible notes is that safe agreements don't carry any interest rates and they don't have any maturity dates. Now there's a great blog by the Pacific Northwest Startup Lawyer which goes over safe financings. If you want to look at a document, you can just go to ycombinator.com. They have a link to their safe documents here. Um, they have documents for US companies or non-US companies. So we have Canada, Cayman Islands, Singapore, and these are all quite standardized in the industry. This guy breaks it down in a great blog post. I'll also put the link to that in the description to explain how it all works. So in the first paragraph, we're stating who is investing and how much we're investing. And it's followed by the valuation cap and the discount rate. So these two things are the critical deal terms that you would negotiate in a safe agreement. So as we can see, in the Cult Food Science investments, they've given us the amount that they've invested, they've given us the post money valuation cap, and for a number of companies, Melly Bio, Mogul Meat, Novel Farms, uh, California Cultured, we also have a discount rate here. So the discount rate is like a coupon you would use at a store. So for in this case, we have an 80% discount rate, and that means we get 20% off the purchase of our shares. So if a Series A investor is paying a dollar per share, then the safe investors are buying their shares at 80 cents. With the valuation cap, it's an upper limit on the price per share a safe investor will pay for Series A stock. It's defined in terms of the company's market cap rather than the share price, right? Because up until you actually get to the Series A, you haven't 
Well, in some cases you might specify how many shares you have, but usually you haven't valued the company yet and actually specified how many shares you have. And so really what investors are doing at this stage is just saying, okay, well, I'll give you, you know, in the case of California Cultured, I'll give you $63,000, $64,000, and we're going to say you're worth $8 million. So I'm giving you the $64,000, and maybe you'll be worth more. Maybe you'll be worth $10 million or $20 million or whatever it is on your first round, but for my investment, you're worth $8 million. So really, that's what that means. So the discount rate and the valuation cap are the main moving parts to a safe agreement. They are the terms that founders and investors negotiate. The rest of the document just defines the mechanics of how and when the investor receives her shares. So here, if you want to understand the when and the how, look at this first paragraph. It talks about how the shares are converted and given out and when money is given and shares are paid out. So all those details are in these first paragraphs. That's cool. Now I understand safe agreements a little bit more, but how does that help me actually value cold food signs? How can I take what's in their financial statement and actually figure out what they're worth? Well, there's a great website who's put together a post money safe calculator. So we're going to look at that here. So I put an example here where we have a 47, just over $47,000 was invested. And we're saying that the valuation cap is $6 million. So we want to calculate what the share prices were, how many shares the investor gets, and what their ownership percentage is of the company. So with this calculator, we can take the investments that Call Food Science has made and just plug them into the calculator and calculate the potential. Obviously, there's a number of variables here, like we're going to have um, the shares with the ESOP. So this is the employee share purchase plan. And so there's a number of shares, you know, that are going to be owned by employees and by founders for that. And then we're assuming here, when we do this calculation, that when we raise the Series A, we're gonna raise it at a certain amount. So that's also unknown. And we're also, we don't know what the actual investment's gonna be in the Series A. So for this, we're just playing with the numbers here to get an idea of, you know, potentially, how could we start to model out this investment. In this example, we're going to say, okay, well, as called food signs in this company, I'm investing just over $47,000 and I'm putting a cap for my investment at 6 million. And so that gives me a share price of $5 and 95 cents at that valuation cap. And I get just under 8,000 shares and I'm owning almost 0.8% of the company. Now, if we raise our Series A then, and we say we're going to raise it at a $12 million valuation, and the new investors are putting in $5 million in additional capital, those investors would then pay $10.21 a share. And so Cold Food Science would then, their ownership would go down from almost 0.8% to 0.47%. And the new Series A investors, right, because unless they're buying more, their shares are going to dilute because more money is being put in. And the new investors would be purchasing just under 500,000 shares for the $5 million they put in, and they would own just under 30% of the company. So we can see here a breakdown of, you know, if we just say, okay, this is roughly how many shares the founders and staff are going to own, then we've calculated the new shares that have been created. This is a great tool 
to help us start to get an idea of, okay, let's start to model how many shares, right? Because we don't know because we haven't actually valued these companies yet. We don't, these companies haven't actually created shares yet. They're still pre-valuation companies. And so when we want to start to model them, we need to just give them a share number and we need to give them a share price. And so this calculator does a great job at helping us model that out for all these companies. And then we can start to see, okay, Cult Food Science paid $5.9 a share. Later, when we increase the valuation, right? Because over time, as we climb that VC ladder, the valuation of the company is increasing. And so we can calculate the share price then at these different valuations. And then we can look at the difference and we can start to see, oh, okay, this is how many shares Cultured Science has got. This is what they paid. Now, when this company is valued at, you know, a couple hundred million, that's what the share price looks like. And then we can start to see this is what the growth potential could be. And this is what the share price potential could be in 10 years time as we go through the length of the fund. Remember, the average length of the fund is about seven years, but these safe investments don't have any time bound on them. So actually they could last for longer than that. That's a very quick look at what a safe agreement is, how it works, and how you can calculate the shares and the value of the shares in the future for cult food science. The same works for agronomics. And I'm using this calculator in my own valuation, which I'm putting on Patreon after my 30th video. The links to all of the things I've covered in this video from the blogs describing the safe agreements to the safe agreements to the calculator calculating the value of those safe agreements are all linked in the description. See you in the next video.